Okay, class, today we're going to be looking at uh, return on investment, and then we're going to break this down. Now remember, we've talked previously about uh, the different cost centers, the different centers, and one of them was an investment center. And this is how we start with evaluating investment centers. We want to look at return on investment, which is ROI. And this uh, ratio is very simple to calculate. Return on investment is operating income divided by total assets. So in any homework problem that you might have, they're going to give you this information or give you enough information where you can calculate these numbers. Okay? So let's just do an example here. Let's say that our operating income is given and it's $40,000. And our total assets for this investment is $200,000. So in this case here, you can see that our return on investment then is 20%. So our assets are generating a 20% return in operating income. All right? So that's pretty simple to do. Now, what we've done though is we've broken this return on investment down so we can further evaluate how they're doing. So ROI can be broken down into our sales margin ratio times our capital turnover. Okay. So remember, return on investment is operating income divided by our total assets. Sales margin is our operating income divided by sales. And our capital turnover is sales divided by total assets. So you can see what we've added here is the sales figure. So if we combine these two, then sales would, would be eliminated, and we have operating income divided by total assets, which is our ROI. Okay? So like I said, um, it's very common for us to break down our ROI into the sales margin and capital turnover so that we can see how these are affecting ROI. Because now, if we can, if we can improve on either one of these, then our ROI will also improve, okay? Because they directly impact ROI, okay? So let's add into this now. We're, st we're sticking with the same. I'm going to write this down here. Our operating income was 40,000 and our total assets were 200,000. Let's now say that our sales are 400,000. Okay, well, let's calculate these now. Our operating income was 40,000 and our sales, like I just said, was 400,000. So this gets me 10%, okay? The sales margin, what this is doing is, is looking at the profitability of this investment. How profitable is this investment, okay? So here we're getting a 10% return uh, from our sales. That's how profitable it is. So now if we can increase our operating income associated with sales, that will increase this profitability here, all right? So that would be our goal here, to try and increase operating income while keeping our sales consistent. Or if sales do increase, trying to increase our operating income by a higher percentage. All right. So once again, sales margin, I'm going to put it above here. I know I'm running out of room. I'm going to say it's measuring profitability. Now our capital turnover, I'm going to circle that kind of, I know I've got a big mess here, sorry. Okay. Now the capital turnover is sales, and I already gave us the sales number. The sales number is 400,000, and our total assets were 200,000. So this gets me two. Okay. So what this is telling me then is for every dollar in assets, it's generating $2 in sales, double the amount, all right? So in this case, what I want to do is somehow try and increase my sales associated with these assets, okay? So this is actually looking at efficiency, and I'll write that up above here, the efficiency of our assets. So capital turnover is measuring efficiency. All right. So like I said before, if we can increase either one of these, that will increase my ROI. Okay, because look at this, 10% times 2 gets me 
the 20%, and that's what we had calculated previously for the ROI, okay? So if I can increase either one of these, that will increase my ROI, okay? So now I have another way to increase ROI, okay? Before I thought all I could do was improve it on these two numbers, but no, I can now improve it associated with sales margin and capital turnover, looking at profitability and efficiency, okay? So that's the lecture on return on investment. Once again, we use this to evaluate investment centers, okay? All right, class, good luck.